What's good? What's glam? What it do? It's your boo, Glamour is the plug. Glamour is the plug. Okay. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shy, and I'm back again with another video. I'm back again with another banger. Okay, so as y'all can tell by the title, y'all already know this video is going to be about. So go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that bell notification so you're not missing a single banger. And with that being said, let's just hop into this story time. Y'all, it's been so, 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 so long since I did a story time on my um, channel. And guess what we're back and we're better um at first i was thinking like um what video i should do for you know day five or whatever what video i should do for day five of you know vlogmas so i'm just like hmm you know what i got an idea i did have i did get a few good ideas from dior tv if y'all don't know who that is please check her channel out i will leave a picture right here and i will leave her description down her link in the description down below so y'all can go subscribe to her channel as well but i did get a couple good ideas for um from her channel about vlogmas and stuff like that which she you know just came out with so y'all please check that out please check that out because if you're doing vlogmas you might need some ideas there you go but Today, I just decided to do a story time, you know, a story time about what happened to me like a couple of months ago, like literally. Y'all, I got literally, I want to say pulled over on the highway, but I ran out of gas on the highway and I'm about to tell y'all how it happened. Okay, so basically, I was waking up one day, you know, stuff like that days go i mean you know time flies or whatever i'm getting ready for work you know my first day at this job y'all remind you okay let me kind of give y'all details i was working three jobs at the time this job that i was going to was going to be my fourth job that i i was going to you know maintain if i can explain how i have four jobs i would but that's personal information let me know we can discuss that on our own time but yeah, I was gonna maintain, you know, that fourth job. So, you know, I was getting ready. I had got my uniform on, got my badge, you know, stuff like that on. And I got in the car, get ready to, you know, leave the house. Y'all, I get in the car and mind y'all, I didn't have as much time. I was already like, I feel like I was already running behind because you know how you like, okay, you got this time to get there. But then it's like, when I got in my car, y'all, when I got in my car, and I looked at my gas handle. I didn't have barely no gas at all. Like, none whatsoever. So, in my mind, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. I probably got, like, a good 15, what, 15, 20 minutes left or something like that. I don't know. I got, like, a good 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to get, you know, to the job that I was going to go work at. So... I'm like, oh my gosh, should I call them? Like, I'm running late, but that's so unprofessional because knowing me, I don't like being late. I don't, I don't like being late, especially on my first day. Like, that's a bad impression. So I'm just like, should I call them until I'm run late so I can get gas, or should I like get on the highway and push it because we didn't live too far from the job as well. So I'm like, should I just get on the highway and just like push it, like just hope for the best. And if I get close to run, I guess I'm gonna get off type stuff. So. <sighs> I was I was just thinking, 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 and what kind of decision y'all think I made? Of course, the dumbest decision I could have made. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to get on this highway. We're gonna push it. We're gonna make it. We're going to make it. Like <laughs> everything is out of me. Believe that I was going to make it to that job. I got on, you know, got on the highway. I'm driving. You know vibing and stuff like that and i'm still paying attention to the hand you know the gas handle so i'm just oh my gosh i need gas so i'm literally pushing it like i'm literally speeding like like speeding speeding, speeding like, zoom. and 
thank god that the police wasn't there to you know pull me over or whatever or whatnot um but i was literally speeding to get to where i needed to be y'all i was literally five minutes not even probably about four four minutes or whatever on my gps it said about five to four minutes i believe so i had like you know that time left five or four minutes left you know before i got there i'm on a highway i'm like yes i can make it like i'm gonna make it like like because y'all where i was i had literally one more exit left like i was probably a good two blocks i was probably a good two blocks two to three blocks away from my exit and when i tell you i'm like okay i got this like i got this instantly y'all as i'm saying i got this and i'm i'm like okay yeah we got this like i'm over here this this vehicle right here y'all this this vehicle right here i'm over here okay like we got this we got this we got this and all of a sudden the little red thing like you know how you have no fuel left that came on all my lights you know little thing came on and my car started to slow down like i couldn't impress no gas or nothing like it literally just started to slow down remind y'all i'm like in the middle of the highway so luckily it wasn't too many cars around me it was just one truck it was one truck and it was like a car over here and i'm in like the middle lane it's like a middle lane it's like a um a lane that you go to my exit and it's another lane that you go to the other exit so it was like two exits and then it was like you know so i'm literally in this middle lane this um truck is in the lane that i was supposed to get you know merge into to go you know he was in that lane Y'all, I got so scared when I tell you all I could do was put on my blinkers. I looked to, you know, check my blind spot to see if anybody was over there. And the truck was right there. I'm like, oh my gosh, can you like, like let me in? So I'm just like, I'm honking my horn, like let me in type stuff. And he like, keep coming. I got over, like I literally just made it over. Like this, he could have hit the back of my car a little bit but he finally let me over i got over he was still on my butt and i got all the way over to like the um where the lanes end so it's like the middle section you know like where them cones be i don't know how to explain it if i find a picture i will find a picture and put it in here but if i don't y'all should know what i'm talking about it's like them lanes that go like you know how the lanes you know merge and it's like the the middle the island part I literally stopped right in the middle of the island part. And when I tell you, I couldn't stop all the way. I literally pressed on my brakes. It was still, like, going. So, I had to hurry up and put my car in park. Y'all, when I put my car in park, I said, uh, do, uh, do. Uh, do. I said, oh, my gosh. Instantly, I was like, no, no, no. No, no. no. And I'm bawling, bawling tears, y'all. The reason why I said that is because <laughs> the reason why I was bawling tears is because one, I didn't want to be late for shit. Two, I didn't want to deal with the police and I knew they were going to give me like a ticket because at the time it was just like my my license i was like i'm working on getting them you know in order like i still have my license but yeah personal business so i'm just like <sighs> i'm gonna get a ticket this is so irritating i'm gonna get a ticket they probably won't even let me go to work it was just it was so much y'all it was just so much i was like taking in instantly who y'all think i called my mother I literally dialed my mama na number like it was no tomorrow. Like, I dialed it. And I'm like. And she like, hello. I'm like, mom, she on the phone. You know, because, you know, when you sound sad. On <laughs> when you sound sad or concerned on the phone with your parents, they be like what's going on like especially if i'm nowhere to be fine i'm not in there present they're like what's going on where you at you okay you good like they alert they're like really alert so i'm just like okay i'm like i just ran out of gas on the highway and i don't 
have the time for the police already better go give me a ticket. I don't got time for this. I am supposed to be at work in a little bit. I'm at that far. I'm supposed to make it. And la, 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 la. Yeah. That was me. That was definitely me. I caught the girl that I was talking to too, but that's besides the point. But yeah, like y'all. Two minutes, literally, probably after I got off the phone with her, they want to pull up behind me. And see, I caught her back. Mom, they pulled up behind me. Yeah. yeah. They pulled up behind me. So he come, whatever. And I'm already bawling tears. My eyes already puffy. I'm so, you know, irritated. And. He like, you know, like, what's going on here type stuff. He like, what's going on here? I'm just like, I ran out of gas. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to work. It's my first day. And I'm just... <laughs> so I'm crying, y'all. And he like, what the freak? He don't know what to do. He like, is there anything I can do? Are you in danger? Are you in harm's way? I'm just like, no. I'm just trying to get to work. I've just had a long day, a long morning. Like, just overwhelmed. He like, are you sure? Because you're crying a lot. I'm just like. Yeah, like, like, come on now. Duh, like, you put, like, you get behind me. And of course, I'm going to be crying because I'm on the freaking highway stuck. I'm on a highway stuck. Y'all, this is, it's just crazy because, like, I'm just like, <sighs> he, like, likes the registration. I give him to him. He in the car, whatever, taking his long, precious time. So I, I'm on the phone with my mom. I'm just like, huh, da, da, da. she like, call your job and let them know what's going on. Like you're running, you know, you're running behind. Da, da, da. It's going to be okay. Calm down. So I get off the phone with her. I call that job. I'm like, hey, I'm crying. Still crying. Hey, da, da, da. I can speak to manager. Speak to manager. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm stuck on the highway. I ran out of gas. And then the police behind me, they said they was going to bring me a gas fuel thingy or whatever. Because that's what they told me. The police officer told me he was going to bring me a, a gas truck. So that, you know, get one of them gas trucks to give me gas. I promise y'all. He said that, right? So, while I tell them that, I tell my job, you know, he was, you know, going to give me a gas truck and stuff like this. She's like, oh, okay, no worries, coming back. If anything, um, any problem, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or if you need a ride, touch this. So, I'm just like, okay. So, y'all, tell me why this man get out of his car. And he come up to me. He be like, he was like, well, it looks like your license is suspended. And I'm just like, no, they're not. I'm like, no, they're not. He was like, um, yes, there is. Da, 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 da. And he was like, do you have insurance? I was like, not at the moment. I don't. I, I, I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't have insurance at the moment, but it's to come. I promise you that. So I'm just like, not at the moment I don't, but it's, I'm working on it. He like, okay. He like, okay. Tell me why. The tow truck pull up in front of me. A tow truck randomly just pull up in front of me. So he's like, I'm going to give you a ticket for this. You know, your license. Da, da, da. I said, it's not sus you know, suspended. I was letting him know. I explained with him, to him what was going on and how they're not suspended. He's like, oh, well, you can fight it in court. Uh, all you got to do is show up and let them know and they should be able to see that and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, what's the whole point of you give me a ticket, bro? Like, you can see that. Like, I'm pretty sure you can see that. So, anyway, he ended up giving me a ticket for that. Then he ended up giving me a ticket for, like, not having insurance, I guess, because I guess it's law. So, yeah. And then I'm like, they finna take my car? He like, Yes, unfortunately, because you don't have insurance, I have to take your car. Da, 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 da. I was gonna be telling, I'm like, and see, I'm just bawling again. You got me bawling my tears out again. I'm bawling my eyes out. Like, uh, uh, he's like, I know it's not the best um, news or whatever, but we're just gonna need you to sign off. Y'all, I did not want to sign off nothing for one, I didn't want to sign them nothing. So I was, I was crying, stuff like that. Then he was like, Cheyenne, if you're not gonna cooperate. Uh, we're gonna just have to take you da 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 or something like, you know, take me down, to, you know. So I'm like, I'm just crying. He not giving me, you know, time to cope with my motherfucking mind right now on what's happening. So I'm crying. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sign it, whatever, just give me a minute. Cause you know, like, dang, give me a minute. Touch the then off, other officer on the other side, he was like, Cheyenne, if you don't sign, I'm like, bro, I just told him, give me a minute. Like, why? 
like dumb. So <clears throat> I ended up signing and whatever they end up, you know, like, come on, you got to step out of, of the vehicle. We, you know, make sure I get on, get out safely upon traffic and stuff like that. So I end up getting out, whatever, crying, got all my stuff. And tell me why. I don't know if they can do this. Y'all let me know because this is the second time they didn't did this 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 to me so i'm walking and you know towards the police officer vehicle and he like okay if you could just step over here um and just like you know put your stuff down and like you know spread your arm and legs i can like check you down i would use the back of my palm to like pat you down and stuff like that so me being me i you know i let them and they pat me down like with the back of their palm but it was a male officer like are they allowed to do that like that's the second time they did that like is it a are male officers allowed to touch me like that like i, I just want to know um but because you know i feel like that's weird like you get, get a female officer to pat me down like i feel like it's weird like i don't know but anywho that happened or whatever and then we got I, he you know he told me to get in the back of the car i wasn't in handcuffs or nothing like that i ended up getting in the back of the car and stuff like that and then next you know they take in my car or whatever and they give me all the information on where it's going when i can pick it up or whatever blah 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 so i'm on the phone with my mama the whole time and stuff like that and she was just like okay well just let me know where they taking da, 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 with the car so they end up taking me to their station that was near where we were located and they took me to their station or whatever and i they just gave me the you know the information to where my car was and then they just told me to wait on my ride type stuff so i ended up waiting on my ride my mama she came probably about i got good eight minutes later she came or whatever and you know they took me to go get my car and stuff like that but before i went to go get my car i had called my job back and i'm just like um they took my car i don't know if i'll be able to get it back and blah blah, blah. and she was just like you know what just um go home for the day i mean she was like don't come in for the day just come in try again tomorrow or whatever she was like um it's okay no worries you know be, being real thoughtful and stuff like that she was like um are you stranded right now do you need a ride home or anything you know make sure i was good because i had told her the situation before i was just like yeah I, i'm good my ride is actually on the way or whatever she was like yeah just go home relax your mind um i know how it can be you know that because I, I literally let her know everything like the police took my car this is how it went like i ran out of gas on the highway like she was like dang she had a rough morning as it is so I'm not gonna have her work under this stress. So she was real understanding. They end up so that was that. My mom and I ended up taking me to go get my car and stuff like that. And we got it out within a breeze or whatever. And I'm just like, y'all never is catching me again on this month. I would never ever risk it all like that ever again. Not never again would I risk not putting gas in my car while getting on the highway or period. Like, girl, put some gas in your car. Stop being a broke person and put some gas in your car. <laughs> like I was really being broke right there y'all like I had the money too like silly me but yeah we ended up putting gas in my car anyways after we picked it up and stuff like that so it was real cool or whatever and with that being said that was pretty much all for the video don't be a boohoo hard-headed cry baby like me and I put gas in your car please put gas in your cars um but with that being said i hope you guys really like this video uh, if y'all love these story times let me know if y'all if y'all want to see more um with that being said i hope you guys really like this video comment down below your favorite part subscribe 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 click that bell notification saying i'm a single banger and i'll see you guys next